previously on MTV No Filter. <coughs> Can you sing today or not? I can't sing this year. What? My lungs are just like failing me. Why don't you stop smoking weed? I'm a f***ing addict. What about one date a week? I want you to get out there. What about you? I'm married, question mark. Hi. Hi, you have to be ready in five minutes, they say. All I want is 10 minutes of like alone time. The only thing we really get to talk about is business that day. It's just getting harder and harder to balance Jake and I. I would always want to be like best friends if like anything were to ever happen. What? She kept talking as if a relationship was about to end. I don't know. One hundred percent. Like we signed up for like all of this, and it's awesome how much it's helped our careers. Like there's just so much drama surrounding Jake's life that is so draining after like a long time. You guys are both very young stars, right? And you guys have crazy lives, and this is what happens with two famous people who date each other. I guess are you're right. To each other. Tana and Jake are very, very busy. Jake is starting a career in boxing, and there is a lot of training that he has to do in Big Bear, where he's staying. And Tana is working on 100,000 things as well. I guess you're right, I don't know. Just so you know, like in terms of the continuing on with this though, it's all working. I know it's very weird to be like, this is like the most successful I've ever been in my career, but like, that doesn't mean it's equivalent to like happiness. Like my relationship is my business life, which sucks. Like my friendships are my business life. Like my, my relationship with you is my business life. There are no boundaries on anything. Yeah. Ever. And it's hard and the pressure of not letting down so many people while you're like exhausted and miserable, it sucks. It is a lot. It's a lot, a lot. Yeah. I think Tana's stress over working with Jake and the blurred lines between their, their personal relationship and their business relationship is part of a much larger problem of Tana's life being completely out of balance. I do this a lot. I feel like I never talk to you like this. Hey. You mean laying on the counter? Yeah, it's like my favorite way to talk to someone in the kitchen. Hmm. Just me? Yeah. <coughs> uh. Yo, I want a lighter. Do you know what a lighter is? Why would you need a lighter? Because I shot a show with Jake Paul all day. Is this what you've been doing every night? What? Smoking weed? Anything to numb the pain. Honestly, yeah. Tana's been smoking since I knew her. And while I'm not a doctor, that's probably not great for her lungs. Wow. Nothing like a good coffee and a few bong ribs. You're gonna burn out. You need to but Start prioritizing like... health number one before everything. We're also gonna get you a doctor appointment very soon for your... Lungs. It's really, really, really bad. I feel so physically unwell. I can't breathe at all. In the last year, my life has just been so go, 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 work, 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 work. You don't always have the adequate amount of time to take care of your health. And I don't know, it's, it's getting to me. <coughs> Oh, sorry. Well, I think it's easy to, to say, you know, I struggle, I struggle, I struggle. I have this, I have this, I have this. I talk about it, I talk about it, I talk about it. That's great. But how are you getting better? I hate that. No, but it's, it's the mentality of putting <laughs> health first and understanding that, like... But if health comes first, business comes second. You say sleep and health first, but it's like, you just want to be, like, right. But, but you I know. am right. Okay, and that's awesome that you feel right. Like, I'm super mm. happy for you. I don't think that's how it But, works. like... You say you want me to prioritize my health first until it's like work suffers in the 1% yes. and I'm I want a piece you to be perfect. I know. So be perfect. Okay, I'll get to work on that, man. I push Tana hard for sure, and I'll, I'll continue to do that, knowing, um, you know, how hard she can work. This is not a product of me driving the train past the rails. Tana has the ability to give herself much more time and energy. Thanks for the coffee. You've had enough. You won't sleep with this. You're right, I won't. That smells foul. Well, it tastes delightful. My favorite thing about these like hot ass peppers is that they like 
clear up my sinuses. The pepperoncinis, you know? Oh, f I love mm -hmm. those. They clear up my sinuses and I can breathe again. But I'm excited because next month I'm gonna get the septioplasty. Is Amari's nose job gonna go well? I'm nervous. Signs point to yes. Yeah. <coughs> you sound like Tana. <laughs> Is anyone else also like worried about her cough? I mean, yeah. There hasn't been a day where she hasn't coughed. Like she's coughing every day, like every second of every day. I saw her the other day, like right here on this couch. She was having a full on attack. Like the bitch could not breathe for like two minutes. I had to give her my inhaler. She's like tears streaming down her face. Like, <laughs> oh, I did see that. Yeah. Oh my god. She's definitely told me like, oh my god, I just spat up blood. I'm like, mm, I think you should get that checked out. Even after the the when we went to the studio with Maude and we were talking about it, I told her I was like, you need to stop smoking. Well, I didn't even think about that. I bet if she stopped smoking, the cough would go away. That, uh, yes, absolutely. Tana's lungs are like failing, yet she thinks it's okay to spark a blunt every three hours. One plus one does not equal two here. What else should I ask? Ask it if Tana has tuberculosis. twerk. Tuberculosis. Tuberculosis. twerk. <laughs> twerk. Does Tana Mojo have tuberculosis? twerk? Hard yes again. Holy really? Swear to God. Wow. Oh, that's Tana's been in and out of so many different urgent cares in the past year. The most recent time that she went to urgent care, after looking at her x-ray, the doctor literally told her that she needs to get tested for tuberculosis. I don't understand why she won't like physically like fully do something about it. Like I get you're busy, but like, do you want your fans to think that you have tuberculosis and just aren't doing anything about it? Cause then they're gonna get tuberculosis and not do anything about it because Tana Mojo got tuberculosis and didn't do anything about it and she's alive. I'm gonna see one of those drama channels like posting like Tana Mojo meet and greet started the next pandemic. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if we all have TB. Let me Google it. Tuberculosis is caused by bacteria that spreads from person to person through microscopic droplets released into the air. I think the reason she's not going to the doctor is because she's scared of actually finding out that she has something. And I think she would rather not know than to know. She's just gonna cover it up by saying like, I'm busy, I'm busy. That's how people die. <laughs> Maybe we can get Jordan to do something about it. Maybe. Even though Tana's literally married, I still feel like the only man that's gonna get Tana into the doctor's office is Jordan. Because Jordan's like family. And Jake isn't, even if they are married. <laughs> Does Tana need an intervention? My reply is no. Okay, f you, eight ball. Love a good market. I've grocery shopped one time in the past five months. Fun fact. Dan and I don't go grocery shopping a lot because we have very different tastes. Sorry, I'm like really into gluten-free This, like all might as well be in a foreign language. It's like the devil and the angel on your shoulder. Like, she just only listens to the devil that says, like, grab the hot Cheetos, and mine's like, get the celery, you're gonna love it. And I, like, have to listen to it, you know? Immunity boost, we could always use. <laughs> Cheers. Oh, I love these beers. Yeah, wellness shot, but then also a beer. I'm just hoping that, like, someday my healthy habits can rub off onto Tana. I'm pretending to grocery shop, but I'm really just like looking for wine. Always and forever. Should I get Jake this? No. Dude, I talked on the phone with him for two hours. When I'm mad, I like pace. And so I was just pacing on the phone with him for literally two hours, like scream crying, like sobbing. And I look at my health app and I walked two miles. Jake and I have been married for the last six months, but he has spent five of them two hours away in Big Bear training for a boxing match. Jake's in a very different place of life than he was when I fell for him, and I feel like he just doesn't have time for me anymore. I feel like Jake has just been slowly, from the moment I met him, like transforming into a different person. But it's like now I'm sitting here like eight months in or whatever, like I don't even know you anymore. Whoa. I don't know, man. It's been weird ever since, like, right after the wedding, which was like, Dude, I, how I many months like... ago? Six, almost. I know. I recently decided to make and post a YouTube video about my really true mental health, and it was probably the hardest video I had to make in 2019, but I felt like I owed my fans 
the authenticity that I hadn't been giving them. The second that Jake and I got married, I just feel like everything changed. The wedding night was just hell for me. I, I built up so much anger over things like, you know, like the live stream. And then my dad almost died that night of the wedding. He had a stroke. This giant part of me wanted Jake so badly to stay and like take care of me. And when he didn't, I was so heartbroken. But with the open relationship, and it's my fault too. Like I wanted to be the cool girlfriend that he never had for him because I cared about him so much, but I let that like destroy me. Obviously a video like this doesn't make my relationship look too good. And I didn't expect to be fighting with Jake over it, but it's clear that we just don't see eye to eye on it. This sounds kind of difficult for you at the moment. I know, I just, yeah, honestly, it is difficult for both of us. I constantly feel like being like thrown in my way. But how like passive can I be? Like I just look so stupid. All my comments are like, you look like a f***ing idiot. You're gonna be a role model for girls everywhere. You like, I just look dumb. I just look so dumb and I like, I, I don't ever wanna be someone's like bitch or like doormat. Tomato sounds fire, right? So are you like thinking about ending things with Jake possibly? Obviously, when thousands of people are commenting, like, what are you doing, sis? You look so dumb. Like, oh my God, there is validity to that. You begin to look in the mirror and be like, damn, do I look dumb? I mean, like, are you still, like, head over heels for him? I don't know. I mean, obviously, you're like, of all people, you're like, end it. So I, <laughs> that, like, sinister smile. I mean, you sneer, 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 sneer. Ugh. I've been saying I love single Santa. Tana Mojo is thinking about dumping Jake Paul. I've been waiting to hear this for my entire life. Well, the past six months, but like my whole life. <laughs> they don't do anything that a couple, even a, like a, a newly dating couple does. I don't see them go out to eat together. I don't see them hang out. I don't see them on FaceTime. I don't even think they have slept with each other yet at this point, like honestly. I don't want to sound like stupid and be like, I don't want to see him treat you like that, but like no one deserves that Pop off. I feel like I need to go up to Big Bear and figure out what we're gonna do. I wouldn't say like I support you either way. <laughs> Cause clearly I <laughs> don't. I mean, I appreciate your honesty. I feel like you were the only person being honest for a long time. Did Jake Paul and Tana Mojo break up? I mean, you never know what to expect. Tana and Jake announced they were taking a break on Instagram last week. Tana wrote that in 2020, they would be working on themselves and that all of it was coming from a place of love. I'm so excited for wine. It's been such a long day. <sighs> A couple days ago, I decided that it was finally time for me to go up to Big Bear and face all of this head on, trying to work through all of this drama over the phone. But Jake is just not working for us right now. And I feel like we came to a conclusion that I am not Mrs. Tana Paul. They're like, didn't you kind of expect for it to be like, Messy? War. Oh, I thought it was gonna be bad. I, I went up there expecting to like. Like have problems. Just like pop off, yeah. Like yeah. I thought we were gonna fight. It honestly went way better than I expected. The average person would go up there, have a breakup, cry, but we also now have to be like, okay, what are we gonna do in the public eye? We felt like the best decision right now for the both of us is to not film and put online. It's hard though, you know? I mean, Jake and I did everything else publicly. I hope if we're not, if we don't ever like try again, that we like always stay friends, but like, it made me like way more sad. It's weird trying not to think about him every second, not wanting to like text him every second, trying to detach our lives. All the friends that we both now have that are each other's friends, all the people that are now in my life because of Jake. The whole car ride home, I was just like, do I just like turn around? You're like, do I go like, back and get with them? Dude, but then like, I literally woke up today to my entire Twitter tab just being like, just letting you know, Jake just walked out of an interview where he said he fell out of love with you and in love with boxing. What 
Damn. And it's hard because it's like I know him. I know he doesn't like mean. I, at least I feel like Jake doesn't mean harm. Yeah, definitely not. I don't think so. Like I feel like with the things that he says that end up like hurting me like that. Like it's not like he like. He's like I feel like that's what he's alluding to. Like he found his passion. I know it's just like to hear. I guess. Oh, still love you. Hi. Like yeah. you know what I mean. Like it's just like. That's what's hard. People are like, why? Like why don't you just like. I hate him. Like, the whole world's commenting on how they, like, knew we wouldn't last. You know, like, it just, like, yeah, I mean, feels never-ending. You incorporate your life so much with someone and then trying to, like, undo it is, mm -hmm. like, the hardest, like, saddest thing. Okay. Okay. Wow. I feel like we should decide what angle we're going for. I've enlisted the help of Trevor and Ashley to help me find some sort of gift that will take Tana's mind off things and show her I do care. Like celebratory or like funny or like funny or just like, hey, like cheer up. Something light, sweet, something that doesn't say divorce. We could get her a pound cake because she's probably gonna get pounded a lot now that she's single. Have you ever seen like those like penis shaped cakes? We could write like Bitches get money on it. Congrats. I love that you're so excited about this divorce. You're like the only one that's just like ee. When I saw that Tana and Jake broke up, was I shocked? No. Were they ever really together? <laughs> Hi. Hi. How are you? Good, how are you? Um, how are you guys at um Shapes? Shapes. Oh great, we can do any shape. Any Could you shape? do two shapes? Like sure. together? Yeah. Yeah, like two circles, a half circle, and like a rectangle. Basically, we want a penis-shaped cake. Oh, we don't do that. You don't. Eggplant emoji? Honestly, I feel like the only reason we got Tana a cake was so we could draw some sort of sexual thing on it. So you wanted an eggplant emoji? Water droplets on the eggplant? Yes, water droplets on the eggplant. <laughs> Bitches get money with the money sign. Okay, yeah. That baker was definitely picking up what we were putting down. <laughs> so you went to Big Bear, right? With Tana? Yeah. Why did Tana ask you to go to Big Bear? Tana and Jake were talking on the phone and it got like really heated. Really? She was at my house and she felt like she had to go right then. And she was like, will you go with me? And I was like, Jesus. Yeah. If my boyfriend and I ever broke up, I cannot imagine Jordan being there to watch it go down. Like, that seems absolutely bizarre. But I guess it does make sense that her business manager is there, considering a lot of their relationship had to do with business. I mean, it was kind of intense once we got there because first thing we did was, like, watch him in the boxing ring. Of course. And he's in the zone. He's ready. His entire team was there, too, so we all literally sat in the boxing ring, and we just like all had a conversation there together. I should not have been there for their personal conversation. Oh, but you were. Yeah. The conversation at first was, you know, what's working in our relationship right now? What's not working in our relationship right now? What do you want to focus on? What do I want to focus on? And it was really awkward. I think I faked a phone call at one point. To leave? No, just to not be part of the conversation. conversation. They shot that show for MTV. Yeah. How do you think that's going to affect the show? I mean, honestly, I don't think it affects it at all. I'm beyond positive that both of them can handle that. I think it's a smart move for them not to be together right now as a manager and a friend. I think that it's just a right call in general for her life right now. Thank God they didn't actually do any like paperwork stuff. I know. Cause like having to like go to a court. And find out like who gets this split, who gets that split. Oh my God. I'm super happy for her. Let's just say that. I feel like the best thing that could come from this breakup is probably Tana actually being able to focus on herself for once. I feel like the past year has been so like her and Jake, her and Jake, her and Jake, but I feel like this is gonna be really good for Tana, herself and her health. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Thank you. You guys are so quick and awesome. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> you could use it. Can we never talk about this again? Let's bury it. Let's beat it with a shovel. Let's <laughs> bra da da da. <laughs> 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 Hi. Hi. What's up?
What are you drinking? What's up? Yeah. I feel like Amari is like stealing the spotlight with the wine. I'm supposed to be coming in here like Superman with a gift and you're doing my job. I got you two gifts. One of them is in the box and one of them is in my heart. <laughs> this one is from Ashley, Trevor, and me. The design is very particular and it was very, very thought out. Oh my God, it's a bitches get money. Yeah. Well, I'm celibate though. <laughs> We wanted to get you something that may, would make you feel kind of happy and a little bit celebratory for the you next- You should have got me a blunt. I think you have enough of those, <laughs> you know? I think that her reaction to the cake is quite frankly um, beyond lackluster. I was expecting laughs for like at least three or four minutes consecutively. Thanks for the cake. It wasn't nearly what I wanted. Do you think if I put a tiny hole in the cake, I could fill the hole with wine? Or we get a wine cake, you or is that weird? You should not do that. Don't, 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 don't. <laughs> we should at least try the cake before we can ruin it. It's confetti cake. Should we take a bite out of the side at the same time? <laughs> it's really good. I love sweet <laughs> Your blue ass teeth. I need to look at my teeth. Anyway, the second gift. Are you ready? I need eye contact. One moment. Let me get real pretty. We have a doctor appointment for your lungs with a specialist. Super excited to get diagnosed. It's not a manager's job to get their client a doctor's appointment, but over the past couple of months, it's become such a dire situation that um, no one else is doing anything, and it is now on me, I feel. I want you to know that like, I do care from now on. Health is priority number one. Like literally the rest of the year, health is wealth. And I think that's it. Honestly? Honestly. I feel like you don't really care about me going to the doctor. Like, I'm kind of a dick to say that. Like, thank you for booking the appointment. Thank you for going with me. That is like a first step. But at the end of the day, like saying health is first mm -hmm. is a lie. No, that's not. At, okay, so when I choose sleep over a, a brand deal, you need to be you selective. Will... It's, it's, it's not. It's not <laughs> there about. We go. No, no, it's about getting into a healthy lifestyle. Anyway. You make no effort at all to live a healthy lifestyle. At Even all. Even if I made the effort, I would still get like not Period. a lot of sleep. I would still constantly be on a plane. Cool. I would still have to party all the time. There could be excuses for miles, and it would be the same. No, thing. that's just my life. F you. You and this world has bred me to literally be like, I'll sleep when I'm dead. Like, I'll, I'll be healthy, like, in another life, you know? Yeah, no, I'm not gonna, that's like the dumbest thing I've ever heard in my life. This is getting a little serious. Um, I actually have to be somewhere in an hour. So I'm gonna go clean myself up. Hasta luego. I can tell that this issue with her health and talking about going to doctor's appointments just has a lot of weight underneath it. She does have immense fear about what could be happening. I mean, this is like an iceberg. This is just the tip. Can I hit that? Uh, when I was growing up, I'm serious. Like, if I wasn't taking care of myself, like, my parents would do it. So do you know what I mean? My point is, I don't think anyone was ever like, yo, this is how you take care of yourself. Well, yeah, 100%. I really appreciate the importance of taking care of yourself. I just feel like you only want me to take care of myself until it actually interferes with work. I mean, like, that's not true. That's a blatant lie. I mean, honestly, that's a f thing to say. Why do you think I would actually go out of my way Work to find is a, a priority to help. for your lungs so that I could go with you? Because it's to the so bad. Room? Just stop coughing. It's really bad for your brain. I know I'm going to go to this appointment, and then Jordan's no longer going to, like, care about my health again. The doctor's gonna tell me I need to take medicine and get rest and change my life. But then when it actually comes down to taking the medicine and getting the rest and making the changes, Jordan is gonna off camera be super unhappy with me if I'm slacking in any way. I don't even wanna talk about this anymore. This conversation is literally so annoying. Why are we still having this? Well, um, I'm gonna go home. I'm gonna do two hours of emails. I'm gonna watch like an hour of TV and then I'm gonna go to sleep listening to meditation. You're gonna do four hours of emails and then go to sleep angry at yourself no. for not working hard enough. Jordan is definitely not making my breakup and failing physical health any better. It is like laughable how we're just not gonna see eye to eye on this. It's a weird place when two of the biggest relationships in your life are having so many issues. I don't really expect anyone to fully understand everything that's going on with me right now because I know it's a lot, but it's just like, I don't know, cut me a break.
It sucks because everything in me is like, don't obnoxiously throw the cake. <laughs> and all I wanted to is obnoxiously throw the cake. The cake was a gift and it's coming home. I don't want it if I can't play with it. <laughs> On the next episode of MTV's No Filter. <laughs> I have no idea what's wrong with me. It's like, this could be real. So I have, uh, I have results for you. I would be devastated if something were to happen to Tana.